Welcome back to Antarctica. Oh, I mean, the shed. Today, we're gonna to fit a few more things to the car. Let's have a look what we're doing. While I continue to work on these pesky doors, I'm gonna try and put the back end of the car on, meaning tail lights, filler panel, and the petrol cap. Let's see how that goes. But it's cold, very, very cold. As most people may be aware, in this box here, I have a brand new set of tail lights, but I've also got a new uh, tail light filler panel. So that will make the whole back end of this section brand spanking new. I'm gonna set the camera up there and attempt to get this petrol cap on. After, after painting the cap, I have replaced the rubber piece that goes in there. And that piece is so when the cap is on, it doesn't, you know, suck in. It sits nice and flat with the bodywork of the car. But in my little bag of goodies here, the bit that goes in there has a gasket. I don't know whether you can get those brand new, so I've kept the old one. It's not in the best condition, but I will reuse it. Why? Because I'm a tight ass. That's why. I don't know why it needs a gasket, but it had one originally. So I'm putting one back in. Now to find out which screws are the screws. You would think in my little bag of tricks here they would be in here, but it doesn't appear they are. Or are they? Let me suss it out. Let's attempt to get some screws in there. So that goes something like that. I'll get that top one in. Just let me get my 67th hand and find a screwdriver. And at least get that one started. And then we're laughing, laughing, laughing. Okay, that's one. Where is the hole for the second one? That is a cockeyed out there. Excuse the fat hands. What about if I go up there, eh? Might be better. Tightening down all right. Now if I do that one right there. And tighten that up. Oops. And tighten that. We should be ready for a close. Here's the all important first close. Sensational! Ripper, dipper, yeah! <laughs> Next job on the list is to get these eyebrow pieces on. Now these have been 
test fitted before, they should go straight on without any issues. Let's begin. Now these, I think, are relatively easy. It's one screw there, and then push those clips over that. That's pretty much it, I think. The hardest thing is trying to get that screw in and line it up from memory. But let's have a go. Just give him a quick clean. And take off the rubber. We don't need that. We go one, two, buckle my shoe. So I think I will start with the back. I will start with these little clips. Just push them on and that should grip onto the pointy bit. Don't break it. Don't break it. Hopefully my head's not getting in there on me. The string from the hoodie, huh? It's actually quite tight to get on. So I don't want to have to take them off again. I don't think I'll be able to get the camera under there. There's wiring and everything in the way. Magnetic screwdriver would probably be nice. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. And just like that, we have one on. Nice, nice, nice. It's going to look good with the tail light in. I'll button up the other side and get back to you then. And just like that, the other side is done. Finally, and relatively easy job to do. However, not so good on the old backaroo. But, nonetheless, it's done. On to the tail lights now. Time for fitment. Now with that filler panel, it came with new plated brackets to hold it on. So I will put those on, just so we know it's nice and clean behind. And then I think it's tail lights and then that filler piece goes on last. I think. I'll just put these on loosely. And we can tighten it up afterwards. Now a handy tip to know is if you are replacing any of these, keep all of your old hardware because you will need it. It doesn't come with screws, bolts, nuts, whatever not included. Don't lose that bolt. It does come with the screw into but no screws. So just bear that in mind. Get 
these on loosely and then I'll start fitting the tail lights. How loose is loose. So we can adjust if needed. Bingo. The new tail lights do come with a new rubber gasket that I've got that sitting in there. What I've also done as well is get all the bolts that hold the tail lights in and just run them down in through each hole to essentially self tapper it because they're brand new. In it goes. That's lined up better. Five bolts in total to hold the tail light in. Start with the middle one, just get that slightly tightened. Now this bolt here also has an earth on it, so you need to remember to put that one in so your tail lights will work. Now that gasket is rather large. So it needs a bit of squashing down to bite. Which that one does not want to play ball. Alright, let's try the top one then. Pesky one with the earth. Pesky earth. So let me hold the globe up and try it. The other one's just bolted in now, so hopefully we'll have something to bite to. Mug those up now. Now that's on, we can put our tail lights in, indicators and reverse lights. Bulbs are in. Wowee, that's pretty spiffy, isn't it? I'll do the other one and then we'll get to the center piece. Now this piece, which is just a thin piece of plastic, which costs $200, is attached with eight screws. Unfortunately, all my original ones look something like that which is very rusty so i'm going to add in some nice anodized ones or plated ones to match that let's see how we go it's four up top four underneath let's give it a whirl And there we have it. Tail lights, filler panel, installed. There's only one thing left to do now, is see what it looks like with the lights turned on. Let's try that. Oh, before that, those screws kind of look out of place there. I will try and get some black ones so they don't look out of place there. Don't have any at the moment, but I'll get some just so that looks inconspicuous. Let's try those lights. There 
There we go. Tail lights are on. Not very bright, but they are on. As you can see there, they are definitely on. Eh? It's not too bad. That's not bad at all. If only I could get all of it in one frame, eh? There we go. Let's look at that. Spiff feet. Well, there we have it, everyone. Just another quick video to get through while I'm finishing these pesky doors. I found out why the bulbs or the globes don't look too bright in the video. The battery's only got 10 volts, so that's <coughs> cactus. I'll try and charge that up uh, or repair it or whatever. Whack it on the new battery charger that I do have. It does have a repair function, so it'll be good to see whether that does anything or it is just <coughs> a bunch of lies. Anyways, that's the back end of the car on, other than the bumper. Uh, handy tip, if you're going to put that middle section in, it's probably easier without the bumper. If the bumper was there, you would not get those bottom set of screws on. So that's a good thing to take note if for anyone playing at home. So I hope you all enjoyed this as the car is coming together pretty quickly. Now the next video is probably going to be those doors, which is still probably two to three weeks away. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.